Well, this is exciting. Uh, you know, see so many young kids here and their parents uh, getting getting shots. And you know, these shots are safe. Uh, they're reliable. Uh, they make a big a big difference. So, I want to thank uh, Hudson Schools for doing this, as well as Akron Children's Hospital. It's been a real partnership to put this put this together. Uh, they're telling me that they'll have about 600 uh, young kids through here today. So that's a big big chunk of kids, and uh, it's it's a good it's a good thing. So, so to me, for to me, it's you know just very very excited. And I. As you saw, I talked to a number of the parents and talked to, you know, a number, number of the children. So I think they were, uh, you know, parents were certainly excited about it. And, uh, you know, most, most of the kids were doing fine. Some were a little apprehensive, but uh, it's, uh, it's good. It's a, great, it's a great thing. Look, this, this moves us further. Um, you know, we are now, um, if we look at those 18 and above, we're now at two-thirds of the state. Uh, so 67% of those 18 above are now vaccinated uh, in, the, in the state of Ohio. Uh, if you look at uh, the, the age group of teenagers, uh, you know, those numbers go down uh, to the 40s. Um, so, you know, we'll just, we'll have to see what this younger, much younger age group does. But I know for our family, uh, you know, we have three separate families uh, of our children and grandchildren, and they all were were vaccinated last week. Um, so that was that was great. They had the chance to do that. And for for all those families, it was kind of a split. You know, some of the kids had already been gra already been vaccinated, and then it's added some additional children. And it really gives families more confidence and really more flexibility what they can do at Thanksgiving, what they can do at Christmas. It just it's I think peace of mind for families, and that's one of the impressions I got as I, as I talk to people in there. It's just a, a question of peace of mind that now we can, you know, go about our business. We can get together at, at Thanksgiving. We can get together at, at Christmas when everybody in the family is now, now being vaccinated. Governor, the, uh, the parents have to make the decision for the child. And for those parents out there who are on the fence, uh, to, to see this uh, here, what would, you, what would you say to those parents? Well, I think any parent who, you know, is hesitating about whether or not to have their children vaccinated, what they should do is talk to their own doctor or they should talk to their own pediatrician. Um, you know, these are the experts. These are the people that you trust uh, with your child's health. These are the people that you trust with the most important thing in your life, and that is your children. So uh, I understand people wanting to be very cautious and wanting to be very careful. Um, I would be careful. I would be cautious. But I think that, you know, doing what you do, what parents do any other time, and that is to talk to the pediatrician who takes care of your child and ask that pediatrician, him or her, uh, is this the right thing, thing for me to do? Not so that would be my, my only advice, is talk, talk to the people you trust the most about, who deal with the thing that's most important in your life, and that's your child. One of the biggest roadblocks right now for like low income families is the access to the shop. They can't take off work to take them to the doctor in the middle of the day. With something like this, are you expecting or hoping to see this across the state? Yeah, and look, let me just say, I, I again want to thank Hudson Schools. I want to thank the hundreds of other school districts across this state that are doing this. Our last count was over 200 were doing this. And it really makes a difference when the vaccination takes place in a school because the school is the heart of the community. The school is the place that we trust. The school is a place that we're used to taking our kids to. So when the school steps forward and say, yeah, you can use our facilities to do this and we'll partner with the Children's Hospital, that's a huge, huge thing. And more people are going to feel comfortable about getting vaccinated. Uh, as far as, you know, reaching people who have to work, that, that has been a challenge throughout this pandemic. Uh, but we've gotten around it. We've gotten around it by doing it on weekends. Uh, tomorrow, for example, or, or Sunday, for example, uh, Fran and I will be visiting uh, in Dayton. Uh, Dayton Children's Hospital is putting on vaccination. They're, they're going to start uh, early Sunday morning, and they're going to go all day. So doing these things on days that people can, you know, take off 
don't have to take off work is certainly, certainly very important. Governor, real quick, there are a number of schools that we've seen that are dropping mask mandates. Obviously, the vaccine just becoming available to kids last week. Uh, do you have any advice? I know you don't have local control, but what's your advice to those districts, yeah. considering it's really five weeks before kids are fully vaccinated? Yeah, I mean, my, my recommendation to schools is to keep the mask on, you know, for a few more weeks at least. And the reason I say that is that if you look at Ohio, uh, and every county is different, but in every single county of the state, uh, every single county is at least two times the high level of what they consider high incidence. Uh, the highest county is eight times, the lowest county is two times, so even though we're certainly in, in a better position than we were, you know, six months ago or so, we still have the COVID out there. And for anyone who's not vaccinated, this is an exceedingly dangerous time. We're still losing about 40 people a day who are dying uh, from the COVID. Uh, so I don't want to be gloom and doom about this. There's a lot to be happy about. And the most important thing to be happy about is this miracle and it really is a miracle uh, of the vaccine. I mean, if you think that in you know less than 20 months, we've gone from discovering what this monster was to now being able to vaccinate our young children, uh, it, is, it is absolutely quite amazing. So our, our ticket out of this remains the vaccine. The vaccine is the most important thing. And so I don't want to get you know, into debates about masks or things like that. Uh, you know, if, if you ask me what my recommendation to a school would be, I would say, hang on a little bit. Um, you know, we're, this thing is going to get better and, and give your kids the chance, your younger kids, the chance to, to get vaccinated and then get that second vaccination in three weeks. Let that time run so that they have that, they have that protection. Are you pleased with the early numbers in the 5 to 11 age group statewide? Well, I am. I, you know, we're seeing a, a, not only are we seeing a lot of people be vaccinated, a lot of kids be vaccinated, uh, but we're seeing uh, hospitals as well as pharmacies uh, slot in for the next week or so. So, you know, a lot of them are backed up now or they're taking reservations. So we think at least for another week, two weeks, we're going to continue to see the surge. We would love to see the surge, you know, go on and on. But we're seeing, of course, now the people who, you know, have been waiting and were the most anxious and the most convinced that this is, this is the, right, the right thing to do. But every day that goes on and that we vaccinate more of our children is a, is a better day. This is a great day. And, I, you know, it was great for me just to have the opportunity to see it and to talk to some of the parents and to talk to the, talk to the kids. Hey, Governor, a while back, a photo circulated online of you when you got your polio vaccine in second grade <laughs> at your elementary school. I'm curious if you reflected on that today while you were looking at the kids. I and did. In fact, I told several of the children, and I didn't expect them to know what polio was. Thank God they don't know what polio is. You know, I mean, think about it. But I told them that, uh, you know, when I was their age, I got that, that shot. And so, yes, absolutely, I, I, I certainly certainly thought about that. Um, you know, my wife and I were in the same class. And, uh, you know, for some, I was, I think, this, they went in alphabetical order. Uh, so I think I was the sixth or seventh person to get sh the shot. Some reason that ended up in the Yellow Springs News as opposed to Gary Arnett, who probably got the first shot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 th I think about that. Out of our class, um, there, I remember this because, uh, for some reason I do, out of our class of, of 30 uh, kids, I think there were two whose parents did not want them to get the shot. And so 28 out of 30, is my recollection, got the shot. And, um, you know, it was done right, right in, the, in the school. Anybody else? All right. It's a beautiful day in Hudson. It's gorgeous outside, so.